I am a photographer in Washington, and lately I have been doing some soul searching and some healing work, um, and I would love to talk with you about that. Uh, within the last two months, I recently uh, hurt one of my vertebrae in my back, and so I started seeing a physical therapist. Um, but he also does like some really cool like visualization therapy um, and really healing the mind as well. I'm learning not only a lot about myself, but I'm learning a lot about the world and the universe around me. Um, and I'm also learning about my relationship with light. Light and I have a very cool relationship, kind of in the sense that like I can never turn the photographer off at me. Um, I am when I'm driving in the car, whether I'm on a hike, whether I'm in the grocery store, uh, it doesn't matter. Like I'm constantly observing light and its relationship with objects, um, in the world around me in this photographic journey, which has almost been 10 years. Uh, I have gone from beginning a hobby that I wasn't sure whether I was going to be either good at or that I was going to like, um, I knew I wanted to dabble in it, but I also then made a complete career doing portraits for uh, seven years, and I did a lot of weddings. I think in four years, I did like 500 weddings, um, and I was very motivated to make money doing photography. Um, ultimately, that did not make me happy in the long run. So recently, I kind of gave up the portrait side of things, and... I have aligned my relationship with photography and my relationship with light with one of my other true passions, which is nature. My therapist has been encouraging me to utilize my relationship with light um, and photography and art um, to not only reflect on the relationship that I have and not only be able to utilize that to heal myself, but to take those skills and share them with the world around me and the people that I've connected to, um, to uh, help them begin to heal through nature and through light as well. So I've been trying to determine the best way that I can utilize my skills to take those, uh, those experiences that I have learned, how to heal myself through nature and art uh, and take that and spread that to you guys, uh, those of you who need it and who are interested. My husband reminded me that I am already doing it. Um, and I actually got a comment on TikTok uh, a little while ago from a vet who said that they experience PTSD symptoms and uh, they also get some peace looking at nature through my photography. And I thought that was really cool and that really made an impact on me. Um, and it's something that I never thought, like I worked in mental health for seven years and I feel like I'm realizing that I can make way more of a difference in life and with people doing something that I am aligned with and passionate about um, as opposed to doing what I think I need to be doing for the world, um, which I think is an important message for all of us, right? We all have special gifts. We all have special talents. Um, and really from a young age, we are taught to all kind of do the same thing. Um, and that's just not how this works. And honestly, that's one of the reasons I really like TikTok is because we get to see everyone's individual talents. Anyways, uh, all of these moments that I take, all these photographs that I take, I get really excited to share those with you guys. Um, it seems like you guys like them a lot, which I am really excited about. Um, it keeps me motivated to keep doing it, and I'm really glad that you guys are here and just wanted to say thank you. Um, if you've made it this far, I took a picture of a fog bow today. Uh, if you've never seen a fog bow, it's like a rainbow, but it's just white and uh, it's cast in the fog. And I took it this morning for sunrise and I wanted to share that with you to end this video. Um, if you have a hard time seeing the fog boat, try turning your brightness up. Thanks for listening.